everyone. I'm April Bordeaux from Care to Change, and I want to spend a few minutes with you talking about social media and how to make it work for you instead of getting the best of you. Uh, there are several good things about social media that you're going to want to know or, or that you probably already know about. Um, as we know, human beings are social creatures, and we were uh, created for companionship to thrive in life. And the strength of our connections with other people has an impact on our well-being and our happiness. And that's why so many people really do enjoy using social media. We use it to communicate, to find new friends and new communities. We use it as networking and raising awareness for important causes. Um, sometimes we can use it to offer some emotional support. Um, we, we share creative stories or inspirational stories. We show quotes and uh, scriptures and and we can either we can also at times discover sources of valuable information and learning from social media. It can be used to ease stress and anxiety and provide a moment of comfort and joy and sometimes even seem to prevent uh, loneliness for a little bit. It also can allow us to feel like we're in control. We get to control who we follow, uh, who follows us, what we post, what we view how we respond, and how often we even open our social media apps. Unfortunately, there are some not so good um, parts to social media. I'm sure you're aware of many of them. Believe it or not, companies behind social media platforms didn't create them to make you happy or to give you control. They actually created them to make money for themselves. They design their platforms to grab your attention to keep you online and to get you in the habit of repeatedly checking your screen for updates. Uh, much like gambling and other addictions, social media can create um, psychological cravings. And when you receive a like or a reaction to a post, your brain may actually release a chemical called dopamine. And this is a feel good chemical. And what dopamine does is it leaves you wanting more of that. And that's why it's so easy just to get sucked into social media. Uh, we can find ourselves very easily, mindlessly just scrolling through as we look into other people's lives and catching up on the gossip around town or reading the latest news on medical advice and finding out what conflicts there are at school and who's dating whom. And, and so um, we definitely can easily get sucked into what social media has to offer. Um, and social media, while the platforms seem harmless, they can have a real effect on our brains. And as we read post, a lot of times we end up taking in a lot of negative information along with some good things. Um, we can easily begin fe feeling irritable or frustrated or anxious and sometimes even more alone than before. When we see rude and threatening and aggressive and lewd comments or photos, our brains may generate feelings of fear. Uh, or inadequacy or loneliness, um, those feelings can really uh, make problems for us. It can create more anxiety or make depression worse. It can cause fear of missing out. Uh, it can leave you with a sense of isolation, uh, of a feeling of being uninvited. There's certainly cyberbullying that happens a lot over social media, unfortunately. Uh, there are emotional affairs, and a lot of people lose sleep mindlessly scrolling on their screen. Um, people think of social media as a personal, private thing, but it definitely has a tremendous impact. And it's not just in our personal lives, it can have an impact in our work lives as well. Um, sometimes we hear or we see my feed, my opinion, um, but let's not be super naive about that. Uh, we cannot assume that a private message or a post is going to remain private you can actually be held accountable for the kinds of posts that you create or share. Um, posts that violate an employer's social media policy can actually really come back to haunt you. Uh, the good news is we get to control how we use our social media. We get to decide if we'll use it to be a light for others, to lift them up, to create unity, to encourage people, or if we'd rather um, share aggressive comments or vent about work, or fan the flame of political or racial discord, or present even a less than honest view of ourselves. Um, consider the outcomes of your post and what they may create, both positive and negative. I mean, think of social media sort of as your personal or professional advertisement. 
what you post actually tells other people what to believe about you and your life and your relationships and your free time and your political views and your favorite teams and even what it is that you eat and drink. It tells you uh, how to feel, how others to feel about your job and your church and your social issues. Um, Your comments and your responses uh, and your posts actually build the view others form about you. Uh, And you may think that your your posts matter only to you, but they do affect the people who see them. Um, Longtime friends and romantic relationships have been destroyed because of thoughtless social media posts and and careers have been damaged because of them as well. So how can you be smart with social media? What can you do? I'm gonna give you a few tips. Uh, First of all, carefully consider which platforms you will use and who you are going to follow and how you will respond to other people's posts. Um, We recommend that you set a time limit on social media so that it doesn't become a crutch or an escape or even a time waster for you. You also don't want social media to become the primary way that you connect with others. Social media can never replace the psychological benefit of real human interaction. The third tip is that to remember that your posts are your billboard, or what we call your highlight reel, your advertisement for how other people see you. So before you post, do what we call press pause. Uh, Ask yourself if it's how you want people to think of you. Do you want your employer or prospective employer to see what you're wearing or drinking or saying or doing? And if not, then don't post it. Um, if what you can, you're posting creates isolation or discord or hurts someone um, that might be reading or viewing it, if that's a possibility, don't post it. Um, it's better to be a light in other people's lives than to add negativity to what we already see in this negative Um, news-driven world. Another quick tip is to check your spelling and grammar in the background of your photos. Uh, Viewers may zoom in and learn more about you than really what your photo was meant to show. People lose jobs and relationships, believe it or not, over what they didn't intend to post. So check your background and what others may not see. And our last tip is to use social media to have a positive impact on others. Um, Use it to share resources and scriptures and inspirations so that other people leave your feed glad to know you and feeling better about life because you're in it with them. Uh, Like your clothes for the day and your words for each discussion, choose your social media wisely so that your online image is one that you're proud to have. If you or a loved one are experiencing um, problems because of social media, or you already know that there's an addiction that is or has formed, or you've been hurt, and you're not sure what to do, um, contact us. Um, You can go to our website at caretochange.org, or you can call us at 317-790-9396. It's really why we're here for you. Um, Please let us know how we can help. And again, make social media work for you.